what backlinking means. It's a $65 billion a year industry and it's meant to rank companies. So companies pay for popularity. Basically, they're paying to have friends. What friends do they have? Other websites that are linking to them. Other websites that are saying, hey, let me introduce you to this website over here. How's that done? Well, there's a link somewhere in a page of the other website where if somebody happens to click that link, it brings them over to you, your website. So that means, for instance, you've seen it in a business directory. If you go to a business directory and list yourself in it, you're saying for all the people who go to that directory and browse it looking for somebody like you, hey, I'm here. So they might see your link, it says visit the website, and they click on it. Now, the link might say visit the website, but it could say anything and it could be a link to click on like website like this here okay or it could be some verbiage somewhere that they might click on so it actually has what's called anchor text that is the text that holds down the backlink it anchors it down in other words this text here is clickable so it's holding down a link that's the idea it's anchor text for that link right there this is anchor text in its own way, but it's a very generic anchor text that says website. This is something a little more useful, Center for Dental Implants, and ties it to the concept of Miami with a dash. So we have two concepts here, okay? But they work together. All right, now let me step back. You wanna rank for something that has millions of results like Dental Implants Miami, and you wanna be one of the top 10 guys, and this is the organic section down here. Up here is different, this is maps, and then if there were ads, they'd be over here, but let's skip all that for right now. Let's just come down and take a look, and what we're gonna find is, this is what we call the first result. This company here and different things that may show up all belong to this one company here. Then comes this company, then this one, then that, then that, and of course there are 10 total organic results on a page, then it goes on to the next page, the next page, the next page. Now I have my search settings personally, I have my settings set to show me 100 results per page on purpose because obviously I like to look deep through lots of results for things. Having said that, let's take a look at the difference between somebody at or near the top. I'm gonna to use this one here, Implant Center of Miami. And I'm going to compare it to a guy who's a lot further down the page. And that's going to be Dental Solutions of Miami.com. And let me just go ahead and bring that up now. Okay. This guy here. Now, if you think from the top to the bottom is about 100 on my screen, then this guy's sitting at around 40, 45, maybe, probably 40. So he'd be on, you could say, you know, first page is 1 to 10, then 11 to 20 right 20 to 30 30 to 40 so he'd be like on the fourth page or right about on the fourth page okay so he'd be somewhere around there okay now what i want to do is say how come he's down here dental implants miami is in his link uh dental solutions anyway but it says implant over here so it's in his link it's also in his title tag dental implants miami it's also down here we got dental implants anyway and that's pretty strong but then if you go way, way up here, okay, the person who's here, who we're also going to look at, Implant Center of Miami, doesn't even say dental in there at all in the link. Miami Dental Implants, then it's got Miami Dental Implants. Well, pretty much give or take, whether it's in the domain name or not, it's kind of in the, the wording on the site. How come they're so much higher? Well, aside from anything they're doing in their website to deserve it, and they're both probably quite deserving of being number one. So the question is, why does one win a higher placement? The answer is they have more friends, more websites linking to them. Let me point that out this way. This is a tracking system, and I'm going to actually look at that company, Dental Solutions of Miami.com, and I'm going to look at their backlinks on purpose. And what I'm going to see is that they have 111 links out there. So there's some site called easylocal.com. It's got a section on it called Florida. There's a section in Florida called Miami. There's probably another section in Florida called Orlando. And then in there, there's a section called Cosmetic Dentist. Might also be a section called, you know, Residential Landscaping. 
So, you know, easylocal.com is a directory of sorts, right? It gives you lots of listings of companies in your area. And then we have listing number, whatever it is, 094-534-901. And apparently that's this guy here, dentalsolutionsofmiami.com, right? And there's the anchor. So if I click that link, I will see that wording and I can click on it somewhere on the page and it'll take me there. Unless that page expired because this is a captured list of what it found along the way. And it's got to update every few days, every couple of weeks, like everything else. Okay. But you see, they also have a link from ebusinesspages.com, Dental Solutions of Miami. They also have one from here, one from there, and then some from uh, yp.com, like Yellow Pages, and then Yellow Pages, and so on. Now, let's look at all those anchor texts. Some of these sites up here have their domain name directly. It's called a naked URL. That means it's not covered up with any wording. Why is it naked? Well, this is not naked. It's covering up a domain name that you can see when I hover over it, right? This website is for this thing down here is G-A-R-G-D-M-D.com, okay? But if I go to the next one, even though it says the same thing, it says website, that's for MiamiPerio.com. Then this says LamasDental.com. Why is it called generic text? Because it doesn't tell you much. It just says website. It's not keyword optimized. It doesn't really tell you a lot about what you're going to read when you get there. If all you saw was this, that's generic text. You wouldn't know what you're going to read. It could be any website anywhere on the internet. Probably in English, but that's all you know. Now, this is not called <laughs> naked URL because it is keyword optimized, right? Maybe contextually. The keyword might be Dental Implants Miami, but they enclose it in a bigger concept like Center for Dental Implants Miami. Google likes seeing combinations that point at people. So they like this kind of thing, they like that kind of thing, and they liked exact match keywords in, in some links as the anchor text. They want to see all those combinations. And they want to see naked URLs. Okay, so I'll just kind of walk through that in a little more detail shortly. Uh, it's like a tree branch, right? I'm trying to explain a few things at once. So they've got some anchors that are their domain name. That's naked URLs. Other ones say website. Some might even say visit our website or view website, which is also generic text, right? And then what do we have? We have uh, sort of generic phraseology, and then we have keyword optimization of some sort like this guy probably is branding himself by his name you know a lot of dentists do do that okay and then again naked urls and so on now there's not a lot here to go off of that's keyword optimized right if you want to rank for a, key a keyword like dental implants miami then some of your anchor texts not all of them some of them though should say dental implants miami or something very, very similar to it, right? So let me group by referring domain. What's that mean? That even though these are 111 different links, they don't all come from 111 different websites necessarily. You could have more than one link on a single website. You could even have 111 links on one website. Might be a few different pages. Might be links in some paragraphs, links in the sidebar, links in the footer. Could be anything like that. But take a look, we've got deals.yp.com here. And then on a different page of the same site, this deals.yp.com, uh, again, it says website and it points to them. So this is two backlinks from one website. Get it? One website with two backlinks. Then we have yellow pages, same thing now. Then we have more of these deals and more yellow pages. So some guys are getting a bunch of links from many of the same places dentalcaregenie.com. Well, you might stop and think, okay, how do I figure out how many different websites really? Because let me ask you, is it better to have 111 backlinks coming from one website in order to rank higher? Or is it better to have one backlink from 111 different websites? One backlink each. Well, you probably know the answer instinctively, right? If 111 websites are mentioning you with one or more backlinks, right? 
then yeah, that's better than one website just being chock full of links to you, right? Makes sense, doesn't it? Google trusts 111 different websites, more than one really avid, fervent supporter website that has 111 links to you. <laughs> that should make sense. So guess what we can do? We can group by referring domain to see just how many domains are involved here. Ah, 22. Isn't that interesting? So basically, an average of five backlinks each. Okay. So if we scroll down, now we're seeing one link per. They just picked one out, like the oldest one. Okay. And if we come down, we finally start to see something that makes some sense. We got Dental Solutions of Miami and MedNet Technologies website. Okay. And more to the point, wonderfully, Dental Implants Miami. It is here. Okay. We do see it. So this link right here, this page, somewhere on there is a clickable link that physically says Dental Implants Miami. And if you click it, it goes to that page there. So that's how you read this. This is your website, so to speak. It's one or more pages of the website you want to get to rank. Okay. So you want to have a lot of friends. That's all these referring uh, domains up here. And you want these friends to mention you. And that's what the anchor texts are for. Okay. Now, some are blank. Any idea what the blank might mean? Like, how can you click a link if you don't see anything to click? Unless probably it's an image, right? A clickable image that you can click on to come to you. That image could even say Dental Implants Miami on the image. Google won't know that. It's an image. Google won't really know what the image says, but it's a clickable image most likely that points to you and that does count. That means a friend out there is using an image to link to you. And of course, images are great because, hey, the image could really inspire somebody to click on it to come to you, right? So that counts. Google knows that, right? So anyway, we've got one mention of Dental Implants Miami here, and it's couched in by all these other things Google wants to see, which is diversity. Naked URLs, generic terminology, different kinds of terminology that wrap around concepts that have to do with you. And pointing at hopefully not just your main page all the time, but sometimes some inner page of your website. Some page that's different than another page or another page or another page. Hopefully different pages, right? All right. The status of the websites are apparently okay. I forget what that really means. The NFs mean that some of these links are called no follow and the rest of them are follow. Okay. And Google wants to see a combination of both. All right. Um, no follow means you tell Google it's your wish that link juice does not physically flow to the site from the link. And that's a whole different discussion. Link juice is the invisible juice that also helps a website rank and pass strength to other websites. Okay. So the juice has a lot to do with how many connections come into a website and leave from there to other websites. How many websites link to them and then they link out to other websites. All of that combined has to do with juice because Google wants information superhighways. They want it possible for people to go from page to page to page, from website to website to website and traverse the whole internet, the whole earth through links on websites without even needing to go to Google or Bing or Yahoo or any of those search engines. Okay. They measure the connectivity of websites without the search engines and they rank them on the search engines by how popular they are and how useful they are because they have links coming in and links going out. Okay. So anyway, if you do this kind of thing well, this becomes what's called your backlink profile, a good one, a good backlink profile. A good backlink profile has naked URLs, generic text, exact match keywords, and keywords couched in um, conceptual phraseology, just some extra arbitrary wordiness added in there um, to broaden the scope, okay? 
uh, like images of Coral Gables Cosmetic Dentist, what do you think the real keyword could be there? Well, you could say the root keyword could be dentist, but that's almost useless. It's too generic. So let's go Cosmetic Dentist. But that's still kind of useless. If you do a search for Cosmetic Dentist, what, are you trying to find a list of um, dental schools to go to so you can become one? Or do you want to know which colleges have courses for becoming a cosmetic dentist or do you want a census of how many cosmetic dentists there are in the nation or in a state or in a city or in a county right so that's still too general but once you get to something like coral gables cosmetic dentist ah there now we're talking coral gables how many coral gables are there in the u.s maybe one maybe two maybe three maybe four I'm not sure. Could be one in Florida, one in Oregon, one in Texas. I'm not really sure. If we need to specify, we will. You don't really need to specify a city, though, because say you're in Coral Gables, Texas, if there is one. Then if you're there and you do a search for cosmetic dentist, Google will look for pages of a dentist that seems to be near you in Coral Gables, and it'll make the match, right? Google always looks at your IP address to see where you are so that it can show you local results first. That's like a big thing. It's not the only thing. If I look for hotels, if I just do a search for hotel or restaurant in my area or even mattress store, right? I'm going to see local results here. If you do that search, you're going to see local results. Now, we'll both still also see a lot of the big names that are franchises nationwide or whatever, but we will tend to see local results as well. Okay. Now, that's enough for Google to say, therefore, I like this one. Google will say, I like this because of all of this looking good. Okay. One more thing to it. It doesn't happen at the same time. This link appeared a month ago. That link on May the 7th. That on June the 7th. Eight days ago. Okay. I did not sort by first scene. I could sort by first scene. Uh, just to kind of see, right? There's one April 15th, 2016, okay? And then apparently no one touched it for a year. It was April 13th, 2017 before the next link appeared. And then it goes on and on from there, okay? A few here, a few there. Up until eight days ago, another link got discovered right here, pointing in at that website, okay? So backlinking goes on and on. People go out there consciously and create more links all the time so they can start to outrank their neighbors they try to when their neighbors get more friends their competitors get more friends they need to go get more friends <laughs> now there's one more point to make about that not all friends are of the same caliber are they some of the friends you have are in the audience some are on the stage you know some friends get more notice because hey they're on the stage okay so that means that some websites linking to you are better quality than others so it's not just the count, but how good is that? One website might have 1,200 backlinks pointing at it, but another website could just have 40, and the one with 40 can outrank the one with 1,200. Why? Because the one with 40 are good quality sites, and the 1,200 are just garbage entries. I'll even show you what garbage looks like because it's pretty amazing how far you can get even starting there. So here we go. 22 sources totaling 111 actual backlinks. Okay. Now, why would it even count more than once on a single website, by the way? Because a page takes up your screen. When you're staring at one page, you're not staring at another page. So when you're staring at one page, you're thinking of the options of where to go. Okay, so that page, does that page have a link to you, right? Maybe not. Maybe only another page does. Oh, that's not as good as if both have a link to you, right? Unless it's overdone. What happens if you get a thousand page website out there and all the pages link to you? Well, there'd better be a big reason why. <laughs> Sometimes there is, but often there isn't. So you don't want to overdo it. You know, if your link was on every page of Yellow Pages, Google would start to discount it because that's too much saturation of a single website's pages, right? That works against the algorithm. So you should be 
a piece of the puzzle of every website out there, but you can be multiple pages on those websites and that's fine by and large. Especially if those links are appearing at different times. We all know how that goes. Uh, pages get buried as new pages come out. Guys on websites are creating new information. They got new pages. Puts the old pages down to page two, page three, page four. You know, it gets buried in the archives, maybe for July or June. Uh, and so those pages are no longer read. Everyone's interested in the latest, newest stuff. Okay. So, yeah. If you come back to the same sites after a while and put in new links, then you're playing catch up. You're rebuilding your lost uh, backlink strength, right? Because links that are older lose strength and need to be replaced with new links unless someone can refresh the old links, which most people don't do, but sometimes they that happens. If somebody came back to this page from 2016, and they may have done it, and they update that page. I doubt if they will. Even the URL shows 2012-03, apparently, and that link got added even four years after this thing came live, which means it doesn't have a lot of power, but it counts, okay? It is a backlink, and it is a page that you can find on the internet, and it does count, okay? Uh, but newer backlinks, the reason people need them is to make up for the fact that older backlinks lose power. That actually happens about monthly. So when you put backlinks out, then by the end of the month, those backlinks are slowly starting to get stale. And if you're wondering why, it's because newer backlinks are appearing out there on the internet like every few minutes, all month long for all of your competitors, okay? All right, I've explained all of that so let's take a really fast glance at the next guy over because again, we were comparing this guy who was down around like 45 or so up to this guy who's like number two right now. Sometimes it flips with number one. Sometimes it's number one. These things can change in a day, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna compare this guy to the other guy. Oh, take a look at that. 619 backlinks, huh? How many referring domains? 22? No, wow, 149. Ooh, popularity contest being won there, huh? And so we're looking at all these links. They are different sites even around the world. Some of these things are like in Chinese or Thai, it's true. Uh, and why that anchor text is pointing here, I would have no idea unless this is for uh, whatever language this is, readers in the community in the area, and they would like to know that, hey, this is uh, they're speaking uh, kind of dentist, right? That's a possibility. Okay, Google doesn't try to read too much into this. And yes, you could have that with Russian. Okay, there's apparently this whole page devoted specifically to implantcenterofmiami.com. You can see it in the URL. So whatever this is, is going there. Uh, then maybe people who read this are Russian and they want to know that there's a Russian speaker here at this dental implant who can help them. Who knows? Okay. Now, having said that, all right, let's just look at how that goes. So we have naked URLs, we have generic texts, we have couched keywords, and we have you know, just more generic text, really names, uh, which by itself doesn't mean anything. It's basically generic text. But these could be like images submitted by certain authors on their site. And so that could be even employees of the company who each submitted an image through their own uh, profile link just to help build up, you know, the, the backlink profile of that company, right? Okay. Or it could be website developers working at a company might have these names and they uploaded images on behalf of them, right? Pointing in either at their main page or like in some cases at some deeper level page. As you also see, follows and no follows, Okay. Most of their links go to their homepage, but not all of them, okay? Not all of them, all right? And it's these terms, implant center, implant center of Miami. It's mixed and matched combinations of good anchor text across the site, right? Now, here's where I wanna show you the difference. Let, let's try to do this. How many links did they say were there again? Okay, 149 if we do this uniquely, okay? All right, let's just go like that then. 250 per page, I just wanna show you real quick. Let's sort by 
the anchor text. Okay. I'm going to get the anchor text sorted, and then we're going to take a look at all those links together in one spot. Okay, I think it's sorted. Take a look at this. Dental Implants Miami and the Naked URL, both, separated with a hyphen, so there's a relationship made there. Then what? Dental Implants Pint Miami, again, a separator, but two concepts that work together. Then what do we have? Dental Implants Miami over and over again on different sites. Different sites, sometimes on the same sites, different pages, um, but then otherwise different sites are included and it goes down, 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 Dental Implants Miami, Dental Implants Miami, Dental Implants Miami, Dental Implants Miami, and then a whole new concept, right? Dental Implants Financing, no credit check, bad credit, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then back to names and stuff. Now, how many of those links at Dental Implants Miami well, we can do a quick search, can't we? Control F. You know, we could go Dental Implants Miami. And we'll see 50. Okay? Not just that. What if we were looking at all their backlinks? Not just the, uh, you know, the, the, the grouping that we had done there. I want to see now, for their 619, okay? Let's show 500 per page real quick. And then we'll do, well, I'll ask the same question. How many links do we have? Then we'll understand what it takes. How many friends there are on that, you could say on that keyword. <laughs> but we already see how many friends they have, right? It was 100 and however many. That's, you know, websites out there of differing qualities, right? Most are low quality. 584, these links are low quality. Medium are just a few. High, none. Okay, and yet they rank at the top for a really high keyword. So as long as this is done okay, that's not bad. There are even 18 suspicious links, but not too many. Okay, now let's take a look. Uh, Dental Implants Miami, right? And it should show me pretty soon what the count is on this page, unless it's still loading uh, the details up on the page. But... Anyway, I can tell you because I already did the search earlier. <laughs> it's like, um, I think it's 85. And the point is they do have 85 links that specifically say Dental Implants Miami pointing at them. Now, like I said, these are low quality sites, right? Many of them. There are a couple that are medium. So let me just show you, okay? This would be um, maybe a low quality page because there's not a lot of print on it right? But it's eh, like a medium quality directory, okay? So here's some directory somewhere. Now, I don't know why it's showing a map of Germany and it's got a link to Implant Center of Miami. <laughs> but if you see this, this, see this website link here? Sure enough, that's the anchor text for the website. And yeah, if I click it, it does go to Implant Center of Miami, all right? I just want you to see that, okay? So you know that, that's what happened. <laughs> Now, let's take a look at the next website over. This is another one in the same list, okay? Interesting. Does it look kind of uh, similar to you? Members area sign up here. Members area sign up here in a different color. Categories search keyword. Categories search keyword. Hmm. Uh, very similar logo. Certainly the same logo size, basically. And then what? Oh, it's kind of the same bar. Not much difference to the bar, right? Add business listing, different color, one result found. Do you think that these might be the same templates, just kind of colored a little differently and so forth, in order to make them different user experiences, right? Uh, to create these backlinks from different sites, okay? And the answer is yes. And take a look, website, directions, dentist, however many views. Website directions, Dennis, however many views. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty much the same template, right? They flip things off down here to make it a little different, but it's not a lot different. 2020, today's directory, right? 2020 U.S. business directory listings. We know this is the same template. <laughs> different website, same template. One for the U.K. or what? Today's directory and one for the U.S. And, um... Another one, <laughs> same thing, but it's got a whole lot more entries, okay, for the UK. 
And here we go. And 47 results in category Donna's. And it's very possible that this company went and looked this stuff up themselves and dumped it in here on purpose to, to you know, fill out this directory. But there you go. Emergency, huh? <laughs> um, but having said that, what do we see here? Control F. Let me see. Dental implants, Miami. Dental implants. Oh, probably says website, but it's got to have a link in here somewhere because I found that earlier. Um, anyway, yeah, let me just, let me just, oh, it might be Miami. Ah, uh, yeah, Implant Center of Miami. Here they are, website direction dentist. It's the same guys came out with these three different directories, right, to, to fill in this information on all three. Now let's take a look at, <laughs> so anyway, by the way, that's because Google likes to see directory entries, and that's the kind of thing Rank Snap can do. It can go through a bunch of websites and create the directory listings on them, and that is a process that we offer included in our service now because we can scale it in even at the level that we produce, which is really large, but I'll get back to that after a while. Uh, let me step to this. Okay, here we go. This is some article about something. See this? Dental Implants Miami. That's the clickable link right there. It says Dental Implants Miami. That's what I mean. That is the anchor text. Dental Implants Miami that clicks through to their site. It was created recently, February 8th, 2020. So just a few months ago. Okay. Now, if I go to the top, what is this page? Emilio Interiors. Is a... And there is nothing on here that has anything to do with the dentist whatsoever. But there happen to be 5,381 responses to this tiny little article that's just sort of odd. No real images, no real uh, video, nothing particular going on here. But a couple of links pointing at websites, <laughs> one or another. <laughs> links in the paragraphs. Yeah, anchor text with the, you could say that's keywords, right? Theoretically, if I highlight this and I do a search for this, okay, two pages could come up. This page itself, since it's got this wording on it, but then also the link where this clicks through to. That's uh, a bag. It's abaghermes.com. So a baghermes.com, right? Either one of those could come up, okay? Why do you think there are 5,381 responses to this? And if you start reading them, you're going to realize that they're just oddball quotes and phrases and things that are not real. <laughs> Hello, I just want to give an enormous thumbs up for the great data you've got right here on this post. I will likely be coming back to your weblog for more soon. By, oh, study in Australia. It looks like anchor text. And it clicks through to admitcard.com. Hmm. <laughs> what about... John Deere technical manuals that clicks through to partscatalog.sellload.com. You can increase your blog visitors by having a fan page on Facebook, he said. <laughs> but does that look like anchor text to you? Like a really useful keyword for somebody? Yes. What about this generic one called click here now that points through to that website? Oh, interesting. Do you think this post is just used by website guys to create you know, responses for the sheer purpose of getting anchor text, even in different languages, through to websites? Absolutely. And that's exactly what happened with uh, with this one. There's Miami Movers, and then there's Dental Implants Miami. And if you click it, it'll go to their site. <laughs> All right, that's how you make this whole thing, actually this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> this happened, right? All of this here happens that way. And that's called, these are your friends. This was your friend. This was your friend. This was your friend. This is your friend. This is your friend. Most of them are friends in the audience. You could say the directories are friends on stage and they're worth more, but um, not that guy. That guy, he's in the audience. This one's in the audience. Look at this. This is reply 3,255, <laughs> February of 2020. And yep, Dental Implants Miami, and it's a clickable link that goes to the website. So it's a friend in the audience. 
What is this page about? Oh, who knows? Do you know? I don't know. Some slideshow <laughs> showing some stuff. And then after that, oh, it's just been this kind of thing ever since, hasn't it? Hmm. So do you think website guys use this and they're charging their clients to create these automatically, you know, posts with little robots and stuff in order to drive each other's rank up? Yep, exactly what they do, right? Do you think these links are worth a lot? Or do you think a company would need quite a few of these low quality links to outrank their neighbors? Probably, especially if, you know, it's 2016. Chances are this, which was pointing to myspace.com, whatever it is, I'll bet you that by now it's not linking there. Like that won't be showing up on the front page unless what? Unless somebody is keeping that up, right? Control F, my space. Nope, 100 deep, no sign of them. Now, by the way, they're probably doing this with no promises at all that's gonna help the client rank for that keyword, right? They're just doing their job. They put out these links so that Google says, hey, these links happen. Now, if the links are done right, they're showing up in Google's index and we know that that happened because we found those links because this system found those links and this system found those links from Google. So that's how they showed up in the first place. But once they get trapped in there, then, you know, four years later, they might still be in there and not removed from the system. Okay. The, the link could even be broken by now for all I know. But here you go, Dental Implants Miami. I mean, this is here, it was posted on 2020, and it points right at the website. Again, you tell me what this is about. I mean, it's cute and all, but what in the world does this have to do with Dental Implants Miami, Florida, huh? Do you know? Nah, neither do I. <laughs> What's it say here? Cites that link to this post. Apparently, all those guys there link to this post. And the answer is no, they don't. If you go to the Miami Dental Implant site, you're not going to find a link to this post, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see, another one. Dental Implants Miami commented on, ah, funny, February 8th, 2020. Notice how a bunch of these links are on February 8th, 2020. And yeah, what's it say? Having read this, I thought it was really enlightening. What? Having read what? This? All you need to do is take a data quality approach to developing an agile software solution that creates massive value for a team of researchers in a specific scientific discipline and share that value openly. I think that was it. Having read this, I thought it was really enlightening. I appreciate you taking the time and energy to put this information together. I once again find myself spending a significant amount of time both reading and leaving comments. But so what? It was still worth it. And the reason he put the comment there was to add value to the page so that the owner of the page will leave this comment in there because it has a link to that site. <laughs> huh. Again, a friend in the audience, right? Then what do we got? Another one, Dental Implants Miami. Excellent weblog right here. Additionally, your website, a lot up very fast. What web host are you using? Can I am getting your affiliate link for your host? I desire my site loaded up as fast as yours, LOL. Four months ago, it says in French. <laughs> Dental Implants of Miami. Oh my gosh. And yes, it's a French page <laughs> that says nothing. <laughs> There's one picture <laughs> and a link to a previous image and a next image and then 6,520 comments. And guess what? It's all for backlinks. <laughs> and this one, this guy must be doing it with a robot because he did three in a row, four in a row for the client probably paid him, you know, for four backlinks, <laughs> however many backlinks. He got four off this side just like that. Huh. And then sometimes these guys come right back right? Gamefly free trial. And then what do we have down here with something else? Gamefly free trial 2019 coupon <laughs> and probably more down here. I have no idea. Game fly. Okay. There are five on the page apparently, but there you go. All right. So anyway, 
That's how that's done. What do we do? We make full-scale websites that pitch you, link to you, direct traffic to you, and do not allow all these ridiculous comments. Okay, So we totally control how many links are on a page. We control where they go. We control how many pages show up in the menu. We control what the content is about, and it's about you. Okay, Whatever it is your industry is, whole page is about that industry, and the next page it connects to is about that industry. The next page it connects to, and the next page it connects to, and all the pages in the sitemap. That whole self-enclosed project, probably 106 pages, is all for you. There are links to you on a bunch of those pages, not all, because we don't want total saturation. Also, there are links to other companies on those pages, other websites, so that Google sees that super information highway effect. Not just that. There are links pointing into that project from other websites to drive up the value of that project. Okay, And we do multiple projects for you. All right. And that's how that's done.